Tom Whitestone is my favorite magician in the whole world. Now, this people often ask me this question as a, as a magician. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm heading down with Tom Whitestone. Oh, this is gonna be a fun interview. All right, let's get down back to the Savannah, the usual place where I keep filming these videos. And uh, yeah, let's do it. That's the seat right there. So if you wanna see, it's a little behind the scenes. Hello everyone. Today we have one of the best interviews ever. I'm here with Tom Whitestone. Now, Tom Whitestone is my favorite magician in the whole world. Now, this people often ask me this question as a, as a magician. <laughs> <laughs> people, <laughs> people often ask me, who's your favorite magician? And I keep saying, it's Tom Whitestone. And a lot of people say, who's Tom Whitestone? So no one knows Even Tom, Tom Whitestone. Whitestone says who's Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I love this man. So let's find out more about Tom Whitestone. So how long have you been into magic? Well, I'm about. I'm as old as Father Christmas now. <laughs> it's a long, long time. It was one of those kids' things that never went away. Right. Okay. So I was, oh, about, wow. I, was, I was about seven. Seven when they brought my mum. I had to go into hospital. My mum and dad bought me a magic set. Right, right. Now, because the operation, uh, uh, the nature of the operation they thought they were going to have to do was complicated. I was in a men's ward. Okay. So can you imagine a kid messing up all these tricks, but all these yeah. men being very, you know, nice to kids. Not yeah, other kids yeah, who say, yeah. it's up, it's clear, yeah, it's yeah. obvious, it's done. Yeah. They say, oh, that's good. Yeah, so I yeah. thought magic was great because yeah. all these old old boys, yeah. you know, uh, but waiting for their operations that were being very, uh, of course they knew how to trick, of course I was yeah. messing them up. Yeah. But they were, so I got all this encouragement without sort of, that's by a stroke good. of luck. That's really good. So even people watching at home, you know, it's a lot, a lot of younger uh, people watch my channel. These aren't magicians. These are like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten year olds that I meet at restaurants and residencies. I know you're watching, you're probably watching this right now. Uh, it's great advice for them too. And, and people who are watching other kids perform, always support them. It's very important. That's very true. And uh, I was very, um, I'm, obviously I'm biased. Ben, Brendan's a close friend, uh, uh, but I once had to do magic. Uh, uh, I forget where it was, and Brendan was a, happened to be one of the guests oh, there. Oh yes, I and remember I thought, oh, this God, gig. Brendan's yeah. going to be do, yeah. doing his manipulation. I'm, I'm going to look a, I'm going to look an idiot, you know. Yeah, no. with Brent. And and he was so sweet, so professional. He didn't go near his pocket, didn't get out any coins, nothing. Yeah. So I've always thought uh, that was Brent, because I've heard horror stories. Of, uh, oh yeah, no, other magicians of, uh, of, uh, other, with other magicians, but Brendan. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you about that gig. In fact, my friend Angela, who was living with me back then, uh, he said, "Oh look, I've got this." A staff party at my hotel why don't you come down and you know show some magic and do your thing so i was like oh we'll see we'll see if i'm free i'll come down and then i was free on that day so i said okay i came down and then i found that there's another magician going to be at this event and i was like okay well i don't know who's going to be and then suddenly in the door walked in tom whitestone i said to everyone check this this th i don't need to you don't need to see me watch tom i said it's mm -hmm. going to blow everyone's mind and then just watching tom work was such a pleasure as you know watching this i don't do a lot of card magic i don't even like a lot of card magic the only one card trick that I've seen my entire life that was blown away was number Tom. I don't want to say anything about that. I want you to experience yourself. So if you want to see Tom Whitestone perform, you have to come to the Magic Circle because that's the only place you're going to get to see him. Unless you have a kids party and then so that's where you can book him. But yeah, I do kids. Yeah, I do kids. In fact, kids are my teachers. Kids are right. my teachers because yeah. they haven't quite learned how to be polite. Mm -hmm. Some of them, yeah. and they'll tell you. Yeah. Oh my god, he saw that. Yeah. Yes, he's got a point though. Yeah. Of course, he's an annoying little kid and yeah. but actually, <laughs> you go home and you think, oh my god, and of course, kids see things from all angles. Yeah. You know, these palms where cards are sticking yeah. out, you yeah. know, they'll yeah. be, you know, you, they even grab something out of your pocket. I know. And, uh, yeah. I've, I've had some do. Actually, I think we learn magic by disasters, yeah. by, True. By, by failure. I'm yeah. a great fan of uh, failure because without that, you, you can't move That's on. That's a very and, good point. Um, you know, if, if somebody's, and you can tell even when they, they are polite, mm -hmm. you can tell that they're not that impressed. Yeah. And you think, yeah. why not? Uh, no. I, I'll give you an example. I worked out, uh, I thought I've been very clever, I worked out a, a, a nudist deck with using an ordinary pack. Okay. I didn't want to carry an extra pack, so with a couple of black cards. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I took it to the circle. Oh yeah, very good, Tom. Yeah. Oh yeah, we like that. So I thought, oh great. And I did it to uh, some kids. 
and they wanted to look underneath the pack, which was my version, they couldn't do. Right, right. And I thought I'd satisfied them by doing yeah. one of those fans, yeah, which looked yeah, blank. Yeah. So I went like this and then showed it, and this group of kids yeah. went like this. And I thought, oh, they're just being annoying. Yeah. The next group <laughs> tried it. Same thing, they went like this. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's a coincidence. The third group did the trick. Nothing blank on that side, blank on that side, look, completely blank, and they went. Yeah. I thought, uh, that's it. Yeah. And this trick went in the bin. <laughs> that was it. I got my old nudist deck out, and uh, well, you really can yeah. show them blank on that But then, and you also uh, talk about the music, because you, you, unlike a lot of people, you teach music. Magic's not your only job. No, I, I never became a, when, when I left school, I went to Royal College of Music. Oh, wow. And uh, studied the clarinet and saxophone, and I got lucky. Got to get a job working. Many people better than me in the profession. That was a frightening profession because mm -hmm. uh, for some people who start, music's different. Yeah. Imagine uh, a magic school. That's why the Koreans are winning everything because yeah. they they have a magic school. Yeah. I think it's yeah. one in Sweden, but in England we don't. We have to. We're in the dark. We're in the yeah. dark a bit with that. And when you leave school, you have to earn some money. Yeah. So uh, it's hard to straight away. Yeah. So um, I went. I went to music college and uh, managed to. Get a job, but I was always aware that there were some frighteningly good, good people around. And, yeah. Uh, so, um, and I never gave up on the magic. But I, I, when I was at college, I couldn't practice magic much. I used to practice the instruments to try mm -hmm. and right, try and right. be as good as some of the guys who were you know, musicians. You know. Right. Who, but also, um, speaking about magic tricks, I think the one good thing about Tom is, and I think anyone watching this and who knows Tom will say, you just take every trick and you make it different. So you never, you never look at the instructions or something. You just have such. What we always say is, oh, you have a trick. Oh, show it to Tom. Tom will make it better. <laughs> so, uh, that, how do you come up with such creative ideas and stuff? Is it because you know so many moves and you just? No, I don't know. In fact, there are a hell of a lot of moves I can't do. I can't do a proper second deal. Okay. I can't do a proper bottom deal. Right. I can't. Every time I try a faro, there's something that's not quite, <laughs> quite like this. So I, all those, you know, books with yeah. tricks with faro shuffles, I have to throw in the bin because I can't. Yeah. So a lot of stuff, but uh, some moves I can do quite well. Okay. So I stick to the, the four or five, six or whatever it is. But I think it's just being in magic a long time and seeing yeah. magic and. Uh, of course, I was brought up with books. Mm -hmm. So with YouTube and with DVDs, they were before my even DVDs. Right. It shows you how old I am. But uh, so, you so it was books, books or somebody yeah. showing you. So books you had to. And sometimes, can you imagine yeah. all these string tricks and rope tricks with things going round and yeah. you and it took you hours. Rubber band tricks took you. They all yeah. took you hours. And sometimes along the way, yeah. in not getting it, you you'll come up with a different. I thought, oh, well, that's not. Yeah. That's, I don't think that's right. Yeah. Uh, but it's, but it does uh, job. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. Uh, so that would that would happen. Oh, that's uh, great. So I think uh, it's it's a generation thing, and I think uh, well, so. Magic's got a lot faster yeah. late, lately. Um, oh yeah. So if it's you see Terry Guy now, he's very slow. And moves yeah. moves yeah. very slowly. Apparently, yeah. Ramsey uh, moved very, uh, his tricks look very slow. Right, right. And, uh, but I guess it's, it's different styles and different uh, takes on magic. And, yeah. you know, now in nowadays, I think there's a lot of the social media magic, which is very popular, a lot of the pranks, a lot of the, uh, the quick magic on, on YouTube where uh, it's just showcasing uh, reactions and stuff. Yeah. But I think, I think what you do is something very special. And I think more people need to see magic like what you do. Yeah, so it's kind uh, of you. I feel no. as if I've just died. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, but seriously, yeah. you are yeah. you are not only mine, but a lot of people's favorite magician. So seriously, thank you, Tom, for coming down oh, and pleasure. talking about thank something. You. And uh, if he puts a one-man show on, oh. isn't trying to. He isn't trying to. Uh, yeah. yeah, so Tom, to Tom came to, uh, you know what Tom, I mean? Tom came to my one man show. It was so yeah. good to see Tom as, as in, in, in the audience. Can I say something about your one man show? Sure, sure. No, because um, I'll be quite Waste honest. Money. <laughs> no, I'll be quite honest because I know Brendan as this fantastic manipulator. I mean, and, and flair and yeah. juggle. So when I thought, I saw he was doing a one man show for over an hour, I thought, yeah, but how's he, how's he going to keep it all going? I mean, how much can they see? I was pressed an hour? Because usually <laughs> yeah. it's a, it's a short act, and I thought, oh my God, it's going to be interesting to see how. But he did mentalism. He did. He combined mentalism with flaring. Yeah. You did um, <laughs> the car tricks. You avoid people. You did the exercise. And I can honestly say this without any hint of being biased that it was one of the most varied 
proper one-man show oh, where well, nothing was <laughs> where there was so much variety. He had the audience doing exercises. He did the, the, the rubber bands. Yeah, he had the yeah. skill. He had the flaring. He had mental. He had card tricks with a man and a, his girlfriend. Uh, and he got the emotion there with the thing. It, it, things tied in so that eventually. The, 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 the tricks that he'd been flaring with the drink was predicted and uh, yeah, yeah. when they named the <laughs> cocktail and it kept, he, he got a book test in so um, as one man shows go I put everything the, from the, the kitchen sink <laughs> yeah everything but the kitchen including the kitchen sink I think he might have done a kitchen sink trick I don't know, I don't know. but I would, if, he, if it's on a game don't take my word yeah. go and see it and, uh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> that means a lot from Tom uh, no I, 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 I'm true we're all different the circle yeah. is where we go and yeah. we mess up I mean we've all messed up haven't we oh, yeah. I can remember Brendan practicing when you oh, started the, yeah, the coins, coins were yeah. flying everywhere oh crap yeah. Brendan's doing his <laughs> catching the coin then when he came to the magic circle close up competition his opening act in front of <laughs> thousands God. he went <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, behind his back <laughs> caught them Imagine in front of a. It must be the it's, bravest. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> I said to in myself, the world I'm just going to go all out in this competition, and then yeah. Uh, yeah. But that I think, is, to be fair, wouldn't you agree that it's practicing in front of? So you lost all fear because you were yeah. doing it in front of us the whole yeah. time, True. and that's how we've all learned. We yeah. learn by going, dropping things, kind of being caught. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I mean, I, I, I can't tell you the number of times I've. Uh, come into the circle with what I thought was a good idea completely gone away and <laughs> thrown the whole thing in the bin and started yeah. again because that's a that's a good thing yeah. about having a good group of people you like and trust true. and can practice in front yeah. of yeah you know? very true very and true. then when you've got something you can go out and try it for money you know? mm. yeah that's true sorry I've wasted that no but that's good me. that's good you know what yeah. we love listening to Tom so yeah. thank you for everything no, honestly great. thank you for doing this because Tom doesn't doesn't do this very often, and, and uh, yeah, so thank you for this. Well, you know, who wants to see a bald old salt? No, no, I see you. Writing on a bit. <laughs> well, well, anyway, yeah. Thank, well, thank okay. you for watching too, and oh, if yeah. you want to see more, do comment, do let me know. Uh, if you want to see Tom, come down to the Magic Circle. Uh, otherwise, you have a good day wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. See ya. <laughs>